Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my merch store. We have shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, and a really awesome mug. The link is in the description down below. Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Fandom Hunger Games Season 1. So on our last episode, we sadly lost Oka, one of my favorites, uh, because she was the first one to enter the sauna. So she died due to overexposure, overheating, I don't know what happens, but she died in the sauna. So now we're down to our last Three contestants, we have Yandere Chan and Kakona from the Yandere Simulator game. And we also have Natsuki over here from the Doki Doki Literature Club. So as we only have three contestants left, we're not going to be doing any more reward challenges. We're going to go straight to the death challenge. So for today, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you... The Fire Challenge, where our contestants will try to avoid catching on fire. But good luck with that because we have a bunch of things. They have a fireplace. They have an incense holder. They also have a fire pit. And they also have the cheapest kitchen appliances that you can find on The Sims 4. So, the rules are that they will have full autonomy, which means that they can do whatever they want. They can use all of the items or they can just sit tight and do nothing. But there is going to be a little twist, my friends. Every three hours, we will tell them to do something randomly. Be it, you know, use the oven to cook something or they can light the fireplace. It's going to be completely random and they're all going to have to do it at the same time. Now, remember, since this is a death challenge, that means that the first one to die will be out of the competition. Now, quick note, all of the houses are exactly the same. I made one and then tested it out, made sure that it actually worked. And then I just grabbed it and copied and pasted it. Um, and I also added a pool in between so that way the fire doesn't spread. Because there is a chance that they can catch on fire, but then they put themselves out and don't die. So uh, we don't want the fire to spread to another house and then kill that person. So safety first, even though we're making people catch on fire uh yeah we don't want it to spread to other houses <laughs> that's suki always playing video games girl don't you want to go like talk to kakona over there she seems very lonely she's just like looking at you hoping that you would talk to her maybe she wants to be your friend you know she was really good friends with oka maybe she could be a really good friend to you girl Aw, Kakona is just playing by herself now. Aw, girl. You see, a lot of people are rooting for you in the comment section because they all really loved Oka. And because you were the best friend of Oka, they're all rooting for you. So, you know, I'm kind of also rooting for you. I'm also rooting for you, girl. Now, Natsuki, do you think you have an advantage over the other two girls because Death, the Green Reaper, favors you? Do you think you have an advantage, girl? She seems very confident, guys. She seems very confident. She's not really trying to make friends. She's always by herself. She's doing her own thing, either on the couch or just playing video games. So, yeah, I think she secretly knows that she has a secret weapon. And the secret weapon is a Green Reaper. Meanwhile, at the League of Justice, Yandere is still just standing here by herself. Are you broken? Are you glitching? She's just mourning Oka. But you can't really mourn her because you can't get to her urn. So are you broken? Do I need to reset you? Yeah, I think she's broken. Because now it says mourn Yuri. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reset her. Uh, reset object. There we go. All right, let's see what you do now. Are you still trying to mourn people that you can't reach? There she goes. Okay, now she's moving. So I think she was broken. Um, all right, so she's using the computer and so is Natsuki. And Kakona is dancing. Aw, cute. <gasps> Kakona is getting a phone call. Osana Najimi is wondering if I want to come over to the nightclub, the narwhal arms. I wish I could, but I can't because we're about to go into the death challenge. I can't go, Osana. But you could come and visit us. I mean, we're right here. You could just pop out of the urn and visit us. Although I think they only pop out of the urn like between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's like super late at night when ghosts can come out of their graves. All right, ladies, it is time for you to get ready for the death challenge. I hope you enjoyed these last minutes together because we are about to lose one of you today. Um, let me go ahead and close off the door for everyone. 
lock door for everyone lock door for everyone and lock door for everyone cool then we're gonna go ahead and satisfy their needs make happy make happy and make happy and last but not least ladies and gentlemen we shall give them their full autonomy again ladies are you ready to fight for your lives and try not to catch on fire all right so who's gonna be the first one to light a fire is it gonna be yandere is it gonna be kakona or is it gonna be natsuki it seems that it's gonna be yandere okay oh no did you already catch on fire girl Oh my gosh, I was like, you better not catch on fire and die in the first, like, minute of, of starting the death challenge. I was gonna be so upset. I spent about three hours building this guy, so I was gonna be so upset if somebody died right away. Um, okay, so Yandere is on her phone. Kokona isn't doing much. And Natsuki's also not doing anything. Are you guys not wanting to do stuff? Do I need to reset you guys? I hope they're okay. If they don't move in a little bit, I think I'm just going to go ahead and reset them. Because it seems that only Yandere is doing stuff. Um, so that will kind of put her in a disadvantage. Okay, I'm going to give it until 5. If at 5 they don't move, I'm going to reset them. Alright, it's 5 and they haven't done a single thing. And meanwhile, Yandere is like just adding logs in the fire. So let's go ahead and reset them. Reset object and reset object there we go all right so are you guys gonna do anything yandere stop stop it girl stop it you stop it <laughs> she's just like adding logs into her fire she really wants to get cozy <gasps> kakona you can put yourself out girl there you go good girl kakona good girl there we go so natsuki also started her fire all right let's see what happens Everything seems okay. Everything good. Yandere just keeps adding logs. Girl, you really are tempting death right now. Yandere is like not afraid of death. She just keeps adding logs over and over again. Um, okay, so now Natsuki is about to cook something. Okay, cool. Now, remember, the kitchen appliances are very cheap. So that means that they could also catch on fire. Um, so that's another thing. Oh, wow. Look at your skills. When when did you learn how to cook? Was it by watching TV? I think it might have been because of watching TV. I'm not sure. Oh, also, by the way, there's like a bunch of things that can catch on fire. I added a rug and I also placed carpet for the floor. There's a bunch of wooden things like wooden furniture pieces around that around their houses. So anything can catch on fire. <gasps> there's a fire. What? No way. Yandere discovered the fire. A fire has started. No kidding. Uh, maybe your sim should put it out before it spreads out of control. Yandere, did you hear that? You can put yourself out, girl. You can put yourself out. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working, Yandere. You gotta do something else besides of that, girl. I believe don't die right away, girl. You cannot just die. You cannot die right away. I'm gonna be so mad if you die right away. <laughs> girl. Girl, please, please. She's not putting herself out, guys. She's not putting herself out. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think she's gonna die. I think she's gonna die. Everything is catching on fire around her. The carpet is gone. This thing is on fire. Uh, this carpet is still pretty good, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, it seems like Yanner is not gonna make it, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, this does not look good for you, girl. And Yandere-chan has died in a fire. Ladies and gentlemen, Yandere has finally died because of the fire she started. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. But she she did it on her all on her own. She did it all to herself. She added a bunch of logs into her fire pit, just taunting death over and over. How many logs did she add? I don't even know. I don't even know. There were just way too many. She just kept adding him over and over and over again. <sighs> Girl, I am so sad and mad at the same time because you died so fast. Oh, Yandere, honey. Yandere, sweetie. Girl, why? Why would you do this? You did this to yourself. Why would you do this? 
You put so many logs inside of your fire pit, tempting death to come get you. And now he's here and you're dead and you're out of the competition. Why would you do this, Yandre? Why? Well, Yandre, may you rest in peace. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding, Grim Reaper? The Grim Reaper is just like, well, you know, since it's really nice and cozy over here in the fire, in the flames of death, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take a moment and enjoy the fire. <sighs> Yandere, you just had to keep adding logs, didn't you, girl? You just had to. I am so sorry, but you are out of the competition, girl, which means that we are down to our last two contestants. We have Kokona Haruka from the Yandere Simulator game, and we also have Natsuki from the Doki Doki Literature Club, who is going to be the winner of this first season of the Fandom Hunger Games. We're gonna find out on the next episode because that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. Have an amazing day, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.